Uh, Celsius kind of day. And I uh, didn't know you guys were hanging out. What's up, everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher, and welcome back to the studio. I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. Got a new toy. Testing out a new toy right now. Let me know how it sounds, because right now, this is internal microphone. Uh, because, well... It's, it's an internal microphone. I haven't bought a mic for it yet. I don't have a mic for this. I have mics for regular standard cameras. So, let me get my chair here. Have a little chit chat real quick. Hopefully this looks good. Sounds good. Is good. Maybe kind of good. I have no idea. But, this is what I'm going to say. I like the size. It's waterproof. This is the DJI, D, blah, 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 whoa, can't talk today. DJI Osmo Action 4. Now, I was looking at this compared to the GoPro Hero, uh, whatever it is, 12, I think. And uh, let me tell you, the GoPro has some Hero features, okay, but only like four that I like more than this. This I like everything about it actually better. Um, but this isn't a camera review right now. This is a camera test. We're testing it out. How does it look? This is your standard mode with rock steady, ima uh, rock steady image stabilization on regular. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, screen regular not on extra wide ultra wide or anything like that either But here's what I'm gonna do because this is a video. It's not a video about this camera I am gonna try to use this camera though While out filming right um, Adventuring I wanted to go camping tomorrow. Uh, yeah tomorrow, but all of a sudden we're gonna go from this beautiful. Let me take you outside here. This is a this is a beautiful 71 degree day. It is April 2nd. And it and it and it's I mean it, it is blue sky and it's just a beautiful day. No not a cloud to be seen, right? Um so yeah. Now this has got a better low light, but it's still not it's it's, it's not gonna be like my camera, right? Um but we'll see how it is. Anyway, I'm looking pretty dark right there. Even darker. Just depends on where you're at in the light. Right? I'm kind of digging it, though. It is. I do got to get some attachments. It's kind of weird to hold like that. Uh, I'm going to have a video coming on the trailer. I'm going to be doing work to the trailer while I'm doing work to the truck. I put up a... Man, you can barely see me, right? Because it... Because I'm, I'm, I'm not front lit. But uh, I put up a video, or I put a video. I didn't put up a video. I put up a one of those community posts. I asked you guys about a swag tent. If you don't know what that is, it's Australian-style ground tent um, versus a rack and rooftop tent versus other versus screw it thrash man put up a tarp and a bivy and just do what you do and not a lot of people like check out my community posts apparently so i got like maybe 19 boats 19 majority was for the rooftop tent and rack and that might happen it might not because there's some positives and negatives to rooftop racks right so let's get into that real quick rooftop racks versus tents right so here's the deal guys to do a rooftop rack or rooftop tent you have to have a rack depending on what kind of tent depends on what kind of rack so if i wanted a wedge style tent right i'm gonna have to have a full size rack because a wedge style tent's too long for this little shore bed so it has to sit above the cab, which means I got to have a full size rack. That's, that's a considerable amount of weight, but it's not impossible, obviously. Now, if I wanted a clamshell tent, I, I could go with a small rack, go clamshell, and then 
you know, maybe a tonneau cover under that, which I like the idea of. The only downfall is what I'm having a hard time choosing between those two is that the advantage to the full-size rack and the, and the wedge-style tent is it's a little better for weather, not much, but I could put an awning on there so I could be out of the weather, you know what I'm saying? Out of the weather is a good thing, but... I could always hide in the tent if it was bad or set up a tarp. You know, I haven't decided which way. But the trailer, the trailer incognito here, my, it needs a little work. It needs a little work. It's time to upgrade some of the electronics in here. Well, not electronics, but the electrical system itself, the battery. I don't think I'll do the battery this time, but I am going to install a brand new AC to DC charger, basically, charger balancer kind of situation and i'm also going to upgrade the outside a little bit add my spare tire to the outside some other things a table gonna do some work trailer gonna do work truck i'm also working on this stuff over here uh, that you guys see like uh, right here so these uh these boxes down here right buddy on instagram which also watches the videos. He's the man. Told me where he picked his up at. Costco. 50 bucks. These are waterproof. They have a seal. They're plenty big enough. They're lockable. They're, they're kind of amazing, guys, for 50 bucks. So, one of those is going to be my camp kitchen set up for the truck. The other one, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm also going to be, uh, when I do get out, if, I, if it's tomorrow, I'm... I'm I'm debating on fighting the snow or not. Um, if it is tomorrow, then I'll be testing a new tarp. I'll be testing a new camp table. Um, maybe a couple other products. In fact, one for sure, which, huh, getting ready to do the video on that product this week as well. And it's not going to be a review video on that one. It's just, it's a product I've I have before, but I haven't had before. I know how it works. I've used one many times. I just haven't had this new version. So I got the new version because when it's just me going out, like when I go out for this overnight car camp, which is what I'm planning, um, I only have to make food for me, right? So what are we going to make? Well, uh, like well, there's breakfast, you know, a Peak Design biscuits and gravy. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. But basically, you're just going to have to boil water, maybe make top ramen or, or something whatever it is right so i don't need like a two burner stove pots pans and all this i don't need to take my kitchen set up i just need something for one person for one day so I, I i picked up something that i used to have and own this is a more modern version and i think it's going to be pretty awesome anyway you guys this is the new toy test so let me know what it sounds like on your end, because you're gonna hear it before I edit it, but really I'm gonna edit it before you hear it. It's kind of weird, right? Weird. But let me know how it sounds with the internal microphone because this is the internal microphone, okay? And then let me know what the picture quality is like. I'm filming in 4K, I'm gonna stay in 4K. That, that's, that's my purpose, I hope. Um, my current video setup is from a mirrorless camera that is a little older mirrorless camera but a great camera but and it can shoot 4k but i don't like the autofocus in its 4k so i shoot in 1080 but i'm going to start if i do use that camera which i will for here in the shop for the most part i'm just using this as a test it's just not this is not the view you want to see trash man at ultra wide the whole yeah we don't want that so that camera, I'm going to start upscaling it to 4K to make sure that at least we're in 4K on everything. Anyway, guys, hit me up in the comments below. Please let me know how it sounds, how it looks. What do you think? I, I think it looks like it underexposes a lot when I switch and the light becomes dark, right? Even though it's a one-inch sensor, or not one-inch sensor, but it's a larger sensor than GoPro. It's supposed to be better in low light. It does have a low light mode. I don't know why it doesn't kick on, but see right there, the exposure, right? It's dark, but 
I think this is going to work. I'm going to get a light for it. I need to know if I need to get a microphone for it or just windscreen. You guys let me know. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If not, I'm sorry. Re regroup and whoop the day down. Anyway, as always, get out there and get something done. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.